Hey guys, this is the second part of a three-part video series in which I show you how to create a portfolio website using only HTML, CSS and a little bit of jQuery for the smooth scrolling. Now if you are new to this channel, uh, on this channel I post new videos every day in order to help you increase your web development skills so that you can earn more money and improve the quality of your life. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so that you won't miss any videos. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Uh, if you haven't watched the first part, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Uh, in the previous part, we did the navbar and the showcase area. In uh, this video, we're going to code the about me section, this one right here, and the services, this section right here. So, let's get uh, to our code editor. In my case, it's brackets. First, we're gonna do the markup for the about section. So let's put a comment section about. Uh, let's see, we're gonna use a section tag, give it an idea of about. Uh, okay. Now put a container, a div with a class of container. Now put an h2 with a class of uh, about heading. Get to no. I put a span with a class of text primary. Me. Uh, okay. Now let's put another div and give it a class of about content. Okay. In here we're going to put an h3, a little bit, and another span with a class of text primary, about myself. Okay, now let's put a p and give it a class of uh, lead, let's put a paragraph, and uh, let's say lorem uh, 40. Uh, let's put another one. Uh, lorem 35. And let's place another one. Give it a class of lead. Lorem 40. Let's see how that looks like. Okay. Now we're going to put the image. Uh, go outside of this uh, div and create another one about give it a class of about image and we're gonna place our image in here uh, let's see img folder uh, I think it's about yeah that's it um, and the alt picture of myself okay that's about it for the markup for the about section let go uh, so this is how it looks like obviously the image is way too big Let's go to the style.css and give it some styling. So, put a comment, section, about, um, and let's start to style it. About, give it a padding, 5 rem, top and bottom, 0 left and right. Let's style the h2, about h2 text align. I'm going to set it to center. Uh, font size 3 rem. And then give it a margin bottom of 3 rem. Uh, let's style dh3, about h3. Uh, font size 2 rem this time. And margin bottom 1 rem. Okay. Now let's style the p about p that lid um, margin bottom we're gonna give it one rem. Let's see. Okay, it looks better. Uh, let's. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Right. Maybe if we put it like this. There we go. We don't need. We didn't need the lid class, but let's leave it like that. Uh, now, hashtag about dot about content. Uh, we're gonna give it display of flex. 
okay um, now about uh, that about text and about that about image uh, flex one okay um, now let's move on to the, the about text. Let's give it some styling. About let's align it to center. Um, now let's style the image. About about image img uh, display block uh, margin left auto. Uh, give it a width of 75% border radius of 40% and the margin top of uh, 60 pixels let's see how that looks but something is wrong here I don't think we should have put this in the about content we should have uh, put this uh, let me see the you know what um, we forgot to right we should have put a div or the class of about text here sorry about that guys and uh, wrap the paragraphs in here let's let's indent it a little Uh, it looks like that's not it either. Hmm. Um. Oh right, we need to uncomment the flex. Off. Oh. And we need to close the about content after the image. Okay. I think now that should work. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, instead of text align center, let's give it text align justify. Okay, I think it looks better. So uh, we are finished with the about section. Now let's move on to the services section. So we're gonna go to the index.html file, put a comment, section services, and uh, section and give it an ID of services, give it a class of BG light. We're gonna style this uh, a little bit later. Um, put a container, uh, put an h2 here is what and put a span with a class of text primary I have to offer now let's put a div with a class of boxes and inside we're gonna create another div with a class of box and inside this box we're gonna put an h3 and give it a span with text primary uh, primary um, awesome modern website uh, below the h3 we're gonna put a div with a class of future feature and inside we're gonna put an i we're gonna put an icon i with a class of fas and fa.check and put uh, modern layout design and that's it uh, we're gonna put uh, three more features we're gonna copy this and for the second one we're gonna say responsive website design um, search engine optimization sorry
and uh, browser compatibility. You can put whatever you want here. But just for a placeholder, I'm going to put these ones. And we're going to copy the entire box div one more time. And uh, for this one, we're, I'm going to put uh, free hosting. Uh, we're going to use the ampersand symbol and uh, maintenance. Okay. And uh, for the features, I'm going to put free domain name. Again, you can modify those just for the sake of this uh, demo. Uh, free hosting, free SSL certificate, and uh, personal assistance. All right, the markup is done. Let's take a look at it. Doesn't look very well. Let's style it. Uh, go to the style.css file and put a comment section services uh, let's see services um, give it a padding of 5 RAM uh, on top and bottom 0 left and right and uh, for the H2, it's the same as uh, this H2. So let's go ahead and put uh, services H2. Uh, now for the H3, sorry, services H3, text align center, margin bottom to rem and uh, font size to rem. Let's see. Okay. Um, services, let's style the boxes. Actually, this is the boxes container and give it a display of flex. This will align them horizontally. Uh, now, we're gonna style each box. Let's um, so let's type services that box. Uh, give it a background of white. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't do the BG light class. So let's go back to utility classes. Um, let's give it BG light background. Uh, let's give it a light gray and the uh, color give it a dark gray okay you see now it's a little different from this white this is a very light gray and now we can see better with the contrast of those white boxes okay so let's style the box so background white uh, flex one uh, so make them equal in width uh, padding 3 rem, uh, margin 0 top and bottom 3 rem left and right, border radius uh, 10 pixels, give it a box shadow of 2 pixels, 2 pixels, 5 pixels blur and the color of D1, 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 this uh, very light gray and the uh, font size 1.3 RAM. Okay, now we're gonna. Looks decent, but we're gonna style those icons from Font Awesome. So, services box I, uh, color of white, FFF, padding 1 RAM all around, uh, background, our primary color, uh, 3693FF. Uh, border radius, make it a circle, 50%. Uh, margin, 0 top and bottom, 1 rem left and right. And margin uh, bottom, uh, 2 rem. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. 
and uh, that will uh, wrap up this video in the in the next video I'm gonna show and it will be the last video of this website I'm gonna show how to code this uh, uh, testimonial section and the contact section and the footer so uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and smash that like button uh, share this video or leave a comment below I post new videos every day so go ahead and hit that subscribe notification button and hit the the bell icon so that you won't miss any of them and uh, with that said I'm gonna see you in the next video bye for now